75002 for current options. You've worked here for six years already? Yeah, I, I usually do stuff with numbers and stuff. But I had to find a, a, a job where I could gain more social skills, you know? So accounting is just another step on the ladder of success for you. Yes! <laughs> so you must enjoy working here at Bigley and Barnes? Oh yes, I love it so much, so much, so much. Um. Daniel Gilroy, Mr. Bigley will see you now. Well, that's my name. It was nice meeting you. It was nice. Oh. Uh, my name is Richard, but everyone calls me Richie Kid. Come on, Mr. Gilroy, we don't want to keep Mr. Bigley waiting. Right. Do you want a full reference? Nobody calls him Richie Kid, by the way. Yeah, I figured. I don't care if he graduates. As you can see, we run a pretty tight ship. That's why we're the best. But if anyone makes a mistake... You're late. I I'm sorry, I was just getting Mr. Gilroy. Uh, I, I don't have time for explanations. It's been a minute and 26 seconds. That's 11 seconds over the time it should take. But but if, if Sam Butts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. You, you're fired. You, come with me. Get the door. Have a seat. I'm sorry about that. I was just trying Don't worry to... about it. I've been trying to fire that bitch since last Tuesday when she got here. I've had trouble finding a new receptionist. They're all mediocre. None of them will ever match Kathy. Who? Oh, my dear Kathy. She works for a whole three months. Imagine that. <sighs> Tried to get sick leave when she got pneumonia. I had no choice but to let her go. And she divorced me for it. You made your wife the receptionist? Don't question what makes a man happy, boy! <clears throat> Let's start the interview, shall we? Yeah, you got my resume. Yes. As you can see, I got my uh, MBA from Stanford. Uh, I started the investment club at UC Irvine. I was also the student body president. I've worked for countless charities. I count six. What? You said you worked for countless foundations. I counted to six. Well, they're not all on there. Also, it's more of a figure of speech. Can you count to six, boy? Yes, I can count to six. Let me hear it. You gotta prove it to me now. Count to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's a good start. Got to be good with numbers if you want this job, you understand? Yeah, like I said before, I got my MBA, so I know. You know I can I... read, boy. Yeah, I was just, I was just telling you. So, why you want to work here at Bigley and Barnes? Well, I mean, I just love your business model. And I, I think I could really learn a thing or two under, you know, working under you. And then, you know, work my way up to the top. Maybe make this business the best I can make it. You trying to steal my job, boy? My career? Oh, no, no, I'm not. Hmm. I could use an apprentice. You familiar with Nixon? Richard Nixon? Yeah. You like him? I mean, I don't think Watergate was right, but I don't really have any strong opinions about him. My father worked for Nixon. When I went to college, he told me, son, don't go into politics. Only bloodsuckers and sinners go into politics, go into business. That's where all the honest folk go. Not a day goes by that I'm not grateful for that advice. Were you about to go into politics? Or... This isn't my job interview. Were you ever going to get into politics? I mean, I always figured business was right for me. <laughs> business isn't right for anybody. You just end up here. What makes you think you're so special? You know, when I was a kid, I didn't make a lot of friends. 
so I'd always retreat to books. And one day I was going through the library and I found this book called How to Win Friends and Influence People. I read the book and it talked all about these people in business and they, they inspired me to, to become, to work hard, to become the person I am today. And then when it came to like middle school and high school, I'd get jobs in retail so I could just know what it's like to socialize with other people to try and sell something. And it just inspired me so much. And that's when I started going to charities and I realized business could be more than just profits and earnings and all that. It could be for people. You know, business can, business can help people, business can heal people. It's about more than that. The business was the only thing I could ever do. It's the only thing that encapsulates who I am. That's a good story. Mind if I call you Mr. Gilroy? It would be an honor, sir. <laughs> I think that's all I need to hear. Have any more questions for me? Well, when can I start? <laughs> A sense of humor, that's what we need around here. <laughs> I see, Mr. Gilroy. We'll stay in touch.